Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason. This is a weekly Thursday. I forget the name of the title of the, of the video. This is Sleep Hypnosis Weekly every Thursday. And before I start, I'd just like to just thank everybody, those of you that leave comments and uh, any new subscribers that have subscribed over the last few days. And also all the subscribers I have at the moment. I know I don't have many, but I do appreciate all of you for your support and for just being there it's uh you make what i do worthwhile to me because if no one was watching the videos there'd be no point in me doing it um so yeah thank you very much i really do appreciate uh your support so these sessions these weekly thursday sessions Apart from being among the most popular ones that I do, uh, as far as views go, um, although the daily relaxation sessions are really starting to grow, there's something different about this. This is something that offers you um, an opportunity to just let go but without any kind of specific intention really um, in your mind other than just going to sleep but at the same time even though you're coming here and you're listening to me because you wish to fall into a deep healing natural sleep you can let go of that requirement let go of that need let go of that want because it's not needed because really the whole idea about falling into a deep sleep is just letting go of those issues in your mind and those conflicts that might be there letting them go so that you can just enjoy relaxing and enjoy just drifting off so it doesn't really take any energy from you whatsoever and you're lucky because I was blessed with a very very boring voice that's my superpower being boring it's not always great not with relationships and stuff like that but with, with doing this kind of stuff it's good to be incredibly boring because that means that your conscious mind isn't all excited or interested in what I'm saying and you know another advantage of me being here and perhaps not being uh, being a middle-aged man with a beard and maybe not being all attractive and, you know you're not going to be overstimulated with um, sensuality and being attracted to me and stuff like that it means you can just let go of that stuff um, for some reason I'm finding this funny but it's a case of the less stimulation the better really when it comes to falling asleep you know that's why it's possibly not a good idea to be you know drinking alcohol maybe directly before going to sleep because it's it's a stimulant but it can also be a depressant so it can sometimes work in in your favor but um, or a cup of coffee. I personally can't drink coffee when I'm going to sleep. 
<laughs> bubble of fat that I have spill it and it goes everywhere. Um, for me, I like to have that gap of calming down. So I think because I've been doing these daily relaxation sessions, and by the way, the reason I've got my eyes closed most of the time during this session is because I've got my glasses off and I can't actually see that much. The computer screen is a blur. So I can't see a huge amount. So I just got my eyes closed. I hope you don't mind. I just thought I'd fancy a, a little break from wearing the glasses. So because I'm doing these relaxation sessions daily, I've started to incorporate maybe a few little tidbits of useful, hopefully useful information for people to use uh, regarding relaxation, being calm, stress relief, you know, those things. So with the sleep hypnosis, apart from using these microphones, which are a lot, uh, well, hopefully they're, they're good quality, it sounds very good. Unfortunately, there are background sounds as a police car or ambulance or something went past in the distance but I can't do anything about that I mean that's just life goes on doesn't it it's not doesn't all stop because uh, I'm making a recording so that's one of the good things about this session is the microphones are a better quality than perhaps I would normally use on a day-to-day Although I do use the Blue Yeti, which is a good microphone as well. I also have a bit more of a setup, you know, I have the lighting. Uh, I sit in this black chair usually when I do these sessions. Um, I try and wear something that doesn't make my belly look too massive. So I don't look like a beached whale. And uh, you know, I don't want people trying to push me into the sea or anything so it's a little bit different my mindset is a little bit different during these sessions also I'm not going to wake you up at the end I'm not going to ask you you know to come back and open your eyes and all that stuff because I realize that you may be listening to this with the full intention of having a, a night's sleep you know maybe sleeping throughout the night so i need to respect that and be aware of that and for that reason if you do need to be awake for a specific reason you know if you decided to give yourself an hour or half an hour listening to this and you need to be somewhere then i suggest you set your alarm uh, because this may cause drowsiness it's uh, ideally it will cause drowsiness but some people fall asleep when they listen to my chronic pain sessions and again it's just you know I've got a boring voice and also you connect my voice my face my beard whatever with feeling calm and feeling relaxed and feeling at peace and maybe also drifting off into a natural sleep and that can only be a good thing provided it's safe for you to do so so you know I try to incorporate new learning and uh, I had a, a message, a comment on one of my videos saying that uh, the person said that he fell off his chair, he fell asleep and fell off his chair. So I never thought that that would happen. The reason being is I've done, over the years, I've done hypnosis sessions with people in chairs, group hypnosis sessions, and no one's ever fallen off the chair. So I, I guess I didn't expect it to happen. Um, but now I heard that someone can, it can happen. I now try to incorporate that into every session, uh, try to learn from this and to let you know, but make sure that if you are sitting in a chair, 
it's going to hold your weight and it's going to keep you safe in the event of you falling asleep and it's going to support you uh, in the same way if you're lying down on a comfortable bed you know make sure it supports your weight comfortably and if for any reason you need to change how your body is feeling you know let's say you're you end up lying on your side or your your leg ends up pointing in you know in different direction uh, that's not comfortable for you then move it back move yourself so that you're comfortable move your hips if you need to so that you feel comfortable in your hips because there's no rewards for being uncomfortable you're not going to get any any medals for that and besides it's the opposite to what this is about you can't listen to a relaxation session or a sleep hypnosis session and at the end of it say well I was really uncomfortable and uh, you know physically aching I mean that that's a pointless adventure really I guess I could see if you come out of it having, let's say if you had, you wanted to stop smoking, you listened to a stop smoking session and for whatever reason you managed to um, sit uncomfortably. Maybe you had your legs crossed at the beginning of the session and you had your legs crossed for 45 minutes and at the end of it your leg was numb because you cut off the circulation or you just felt uncomfortable physically but you didn't want to you didn't want to smoke you know you you didn't the idea of smoking was just repulsive to you and, or you just generally were just over it you know didn't want to do that anymore then you know it was a success from the angle of it's you got the result that you were looking for but for me can only be a real success if you come out of it feeling calm and comfortable as well there's no reason to have physical uh, discomfort at all when you do hypnosis so that's why I generally if I was with you in a group I'd say everyone put your feet on the ground if you can some people say but I feel so much more comfortable with my legs crossed yeah, you, you feel comfortable now but you know in 20 minutes time you know it's not ideal and those people that insist on crossing their legs generally keep crossing them over and I don't think they're getting the, the most benefit not everybody finds relaxing as easy as it can be so you know otherwise there wouldn't be any need i guess for relaxation sessions on the internet and even though i've not really talked about sleep that much so far you'll still be feeling sleepy because i'm just waffling on and the result of listening to my voice can just trigger that part of your your brain that just it's like the caretaker it's like the caretaker of a, a big building you know or a school or uh, you know some kind of big office building and the caretaker's job is just to switch off all the lights starting at the top and then working the way down just switching off all the lights I've actually had jobs like that in the past where uh, part of my job was just to close the building up, make sure the doors were locked, switch off all the lights, make sure the computers were off, you know, make sure that everything was safe, make sure that all the toilets were, you know, not blocked up, there was no taps running, you know, those kind of things, just... to shut everything down. And in a sense, that's what I'm doing with you. Um, just triggering that part of your brain. 
a little caretaker which can just shut everything down turning off all the different lights those lights can represent feelings and thoughts and images and ideas memories because at the end of this session or and when you wake up you're still going to have memories and you're still going to know what to do you know when you wake up you still you know nothing's going to be lost no important information will be lost the only stuff that disappears and disintegrates and leaves your mind is the useless stuff maybe the stuff that you don't need to know or remember maybe some of that some of that stuff that's been at the forefront of your mind can just be moved to maybe the back of your mind something that no longer needs to have a spotlight on it because it's outdated or it's no longer necessary for you to give it any attention whatsoever because it's in the past and this gives you an opportunity to really just let go allow yourself the chance to loosen up you know not just physically because the physical stuff happens anyway if you just sit here even if you've got your eyes closed and you know and you just focus on my ears or something it, it doesn't matter whatever you focus on you're going to naturally feel more relaxed it's just standard stuff and if you've already got your eyes closed again you're gonna just naturally feel more relaxed the more time that passes by and again this isn't because I'm telling you to feel relaxed because I'm not I'm just letting you know that that's what's going to happen and that's what already is happening and it's natural because when you're listening to my voice you're not thinking about other things just focusing on me you're just focusing on the words that I use you're focusing on my tone of my voice and there's nothing else that needs your attention at all during this session it really is a case of you just being with me it's like we're traveling on a journey together hand in hand so like I'm holding your hand and you're holding my hand to keep each other safe to keep keep each other safe and happy and to just be a companion on this journey this journey of relaxation this journey of sleep this journey of trust and allowing yourself to feel safe with me and also for me to feel safe with you because that safety goes both ways that trust goes both ways and to be able to trust somebody is such an important thing and I realized that you know I'm maybe thousands of miles away from where you are physically but in this moment we're together our energy is connected we are as one because my voice comes out of your speakers of your computer or maybe through your headphones 
Maybe you're listening on your phone or your iPod or your iPad. And those words go into your ears. And it's a connection. There's a real, a physical connection even. Because you can feel it in your ears. You can feel my words stimulating your eardrums and then stimulating your brain because you can even feel it maybe in your forehead and your eyes maybe in the top of your skull the top of your head you can actually feel like a slight vibration of the words that I say and in your heart you can feel the intention of the words, the intention of safety, offering you safety, the intention of offering you an opportunity to trust, to trust me, to trust my intention, which is why I do these videos so that you can listen back. You can always listen back so you can hear exactly what it is that I'm saying. It's all here. There's no ulterior motive. It's purely to offer out a hand of love, a hand of kindness, offering you something the only thing that I have to offer. And by you taking my hand, you accept that trust. You accept that maybe you can have more trust in your life. You can trust more people that maybe the world is a lot lighter than you used to think. Maybe there's a lot more people out there that just want to help you, that want to care for you, that want to love you. people that aren't after anything they're just looking out for your safety and your well-being and this can open up inside your heart opportunities for you to be able to express your own kindness express your own love not just towards others, but also towards yourself, giving yourself more love, more respect, really trusting yourself more every day. So it's not just about falling into a deep, healing, natural sleep. There's more to it. There has to be more to it. Sleeping is such an amazing opportunity for you to make changes in your life. Changes that you wish to make. Not changes that I want or changes that other people want you to make but for you simple changes like healing your body while you sleep asking your mind to let you relax deeply to allow you to sleep deeply
And if you haven't closed your eyes already, then just let them close. And as I continue to talk, you just find yourself naturally drifting into a deep healing, so deep sleep. It's as if your entire body is just drifting, drifting into a deep natural sleep, a sleep that belongs to you, you own this sleep, you're in charge of this sleep. Because sleeping is something that you were born to easily do. And sometimes just small changes like feeling more trust within you, towards others and yourself, it can be that tiny change that triggers a life transforming change. where sleep is now really, really easy to just let go and drift as each part of your body becomes more and more relaxed and distant. It's as if somehow you're watching your body begin to dissolve into calmness and contentment. Allowing you to just observe those feelings of relaxation, not just in your body, but also in your mind. As those lights get switched off one by one, you feel even more relaxed you can just see in your mind's eye light bulbs with numbers from 1 to 20 and you can switch off each light bulb dimension and every time you switch off that light bulb you'll become twice as sleepy starting with 20 moving down to 1 and when you get down to 1 it'll be so difficult for you to even stay alert to the words I'm saying because your mind will just be drifting. But even so, my words will sink into your unconscious mind 
such a deep level that part that is responsible for transforming your mind and your life starting now Twenty. Turn that light off and go twice as relaxed and sleepy. Now. Nineteen. Switch it off, become twice as sleepy now. Eighteen. Switch it off. Become twice as sleepy now. Seventeen. Switch it off and become twice as sleepy now. Sixteen. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Fifteen. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Fourteen. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Thirteen. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Twelve. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Eleven. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Ten. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Nine. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Eight. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Seven. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Six. 
switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Five. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Four. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Three. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. Two. Switch off and become twice as sleepy now. off and become twice as sleepy now. Just enjoy having a wonderful sleep. I'll see you next Thursday.